This week's episode, we talk about Dear Basketball. We saw the new Guy Ritchie's movie, The Gentleman, so we're going to review it. And reviews for the ser- season series? series series finales finale. for The Arrow and The Good Place. Okay, so... Dear Basketball. I... You probably know, but last week, uh, Kobe Bryant and family, I mean, daughter and some friends, Mm -hmm. uh, died in a tragic helicopter crash accident in Calabasas, California. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was a great uh, basketball player, which we don't talk a lot about in sports, but uh, not everybody might know, he's an Oscar winner filmmaker he wrote and produced a uh, short animation for for which he won the oscar mm-hmm. uh award and uh named dear basketball is a short animation about his relationship with the sport he actually wrote this letter this poem uh to basketball to the sport mm-hmm. uh, how uh, saying how he loved the sport and how He'd fight for being the best and and give his all to the sport that he loved since he was a little kid playing with socks in his bedroom. And yeah, and he put all that on the letter and that became an animation with music from uh, John Williams. Yeah. And Mm -hmm. yeah, it was really great. They won the Oscar Mm -hmm. dessert and for short animation. Is that another other category? Short? I think so. Animation? Honestly, yeah. I don't. Anyways. It's one of the lesser known ca- categories. Well, yeah, but anyways, it won. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is just a, a, a to honor him and remember him since of this tragedy. And the great mm-hmm. job he did on his uh, animation, his career mm-hmm. that ended too soon. Who knows? He could make more more movies and could do more things but yeah the movie the short film is available online so go see it and yeah mm-hmm. dear basketball it's a good one you know what else is good what guy Ritchie's the gentleman oh it was good it was good i loved it it was fun mm-hmm. guy Ritchie always always delivers it is if you like other Guy Ritchie movies, you'll like this because there there is kind of a I don't want to say formula, but like he went back there's to some his, trademarks. Yeah, he went back to his uh, uh, his style, his mm-hmm. formula, his, his you know roots. because he the, the the his past movies were like out of his you know mm-hmm. uh, uh, environment. Let's call it that. He did King Arthur and he did Men from Uncle, mm-hmm. which were good, but were like yeah. not what he used to do. Like he did in. In Rockerola, he did on um, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, and Snatched. Yeah. Uh, so he went back to you know, big cast ensemble, uh, mm-hmm. complex storyline that goes yeah. back and forth and involves so mm-hmm. many people. And Not just complex storylines, but like disparate. Like they seem totally separate, and then. By the end of the movie, they've all come together in some, like, spectacular conclusion. Yeah. Sorry, keep going. And, yeah, uh, as I said, it, uh, great mm-hmm. cast. They have Matthew McConaughey. Mm-hmm. They had, um, what's his bucket? The Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. Yeah. They have uh, Charlie Hunman. They have mm-hmm. the, the, what's the name of the, the coach guy? Can't remember his name. Oh, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. So good. And so many great characters. Yeah, and many other people. Yeah. And he's he's like very, very, you know, it's like there's a this I don't know, for me it does this have this comic book feel that, you mm. know, the story takes place in many many in many different spots and then mm-hmm. they converge together just like a, a good uh, comic book and yeah. And this one for, was even more interesting because yeah. uh, uh, the way the story is told is this guy is like, hey, I have a movie that I want to sell you. And uh, he tells the facts through the screenplay to the script he wrote for the movie, mm-hmm. uh, which make 
uh, a lot of the facts really uh, 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 um, the screenplay embellishes, dramatizes like, what actually happened. Like a screenplay should yeah. Yeah. do. Uh, but uh, it gave some fun moments of ambiguity in the uh -huh. in the story where like you see something and you think, holy crap, what just happened? But again, and then a character in the movie is like, no, 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 that didn't happen. Yeah. He's but like, again, yeah, but it's a more interesting movie. A guy Ritchie, guy Ritchie's movies are like that. It's like, Dude, that, that would never happen. Yeah. Fun fact on Snatch... All the crazy uh, uh, <laughs> things that happen to the, the, yeah. the characters, the wrong things that happen to the characters trying to, you know, do bad things. They're actually based on true stories that Guy Ritchie collected from the mm. meals from from all over the world. Anyways, so uh, uh, the character of Hugh Grant is telling this, uh, uh, this, this story mm -hmm. through the script he wrote. So some might be true, some might not, some might be exaggerated. Yeah. Which is which was uh, was pretty pretty fun, pretty clever. Mm -hmm. Until the movie catch catches up to, you know, real time. Mm -hmm. Now now this is what's going on, after the script is done, mm -hmm. and the guy finally goes sell the script to a certain British <laughs> director. That was a really great cameo. Yeah. It was it was fun. Yeah. It was very fun. A fun, I thought also a nice twist on Guy Ritchie's past movies was how this involved, like, he does a lot with sort of, like, lower class, lowbrow mm -hmm. type characters, and this one included um, the nobility and the, the upper crust of British society. Yeah. Um, which, which I thought was nice. Yeah, talking about upper class, it was, it was fun to see Lady uh, Marmaton. Uh, from yeah. Dalton Abbey on the on the movie, she's I don't know her oh. name. She's some lady on Dalton oh Abbey. Oh my goodness! Lady Smith, Lady Maggie yes, Smith. I, I I don't know what's her name on the show. Well, now I can't remember. Oh, put me on the okay. Spot. We watched the entire show and the movie <laughs> and the movie and, and I love it so character. much. No, I'm trying to remember. Lily Elliot. Elliot sounds really no, uh, upper class. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. Downton Abbey, and it's the dame and Lord Grantham. There Lady, is. Grantham. Lady Grantham. Well, Grantham is the mother. I know, Lady Grantham is, that's the family name, and then oh, they what's call the, the oldest the, daughter's name? Yeah. It's, I don't think it's Elaine. Either. Elaine sounds, sounds posh. Yeah. This is really going to bug me. I'll remember it as soon as we're done. <laughs> like, Actually, no, my phone's here. It's 2020. Okay. I'm just going to look it up. So, yeah, she, you know, while well, she looked it up, it was fun, uh, fun to see her in the different... Humiliated. I, mean, I, I, I actually never uh, watched the show in his in its entirety, so I actually never saw her on the show. I saw the movie, which mm. I like, but it was fun to see her in a different... Mary. Mary, of course. I said Mary Smith. Crawley. Yeah, Crawley. Yeah, Grantham's not even the family name, yeah. it's the estate name. I am humiliated. Yeah, the British and right their now. complexity. I am yeah. yeah, but so there was sorry. There was there was there was a uh, uh, very very fun and entertaining, very mm -hmm. well written as the guy Ritchie always uh, yep. does. Uh, what else? There was some some things that I uh, Knives, the 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 young oh, yeah. gangs in England, they w w use knives, yeah. which is actually very current since guns are all been mm -hmm. there. Uh, the paperweights are, paperweights are good. Yeah, paperweights are, are out. Yeah, paperweights but they bang guns like so smart of them. So they are killing people with katanas in some moments. Yeah. So machetes. But it's kind of horrifying. Yeah, well, it was it was interesting. So Matthew mm -hmm. Magana is this uh, merchant. Uh, of the weeds that is <laughs> the high level. Oh, yeah, there was some new slang in there for marijuana oh, that yeah. I hadn't heard before. The one was like the white widow's hair or something like something, that? Something, yeah. There was a different... Something about of, cheese and... Yeah. There was, uh, yeah, maybe it's in, maybe Bush, in Britain. They called it a lot. They have that. I never heard none of those. But yeah, there's an interesting reference to the Merchant of Venice at the end. It's like, oh, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, what else? Any any other thing? I I don't I feel I feel like it's it's so distinct from his other movies, but I feel like the best way to describe it is to just say it's a Guy Ritchie movie. There were really enjoyable fight scenes, like really well choreographed. Oh, um, they they use oh the, another current thing thing they use in this oh, yeah. one. Uh, uh, the uh, YouTube stuff. Yeah, the YouTube stars the shooting yeah. live. What they doing? All these and, punks with like GoPros on their yeah, heads. Or, yeah. What they call it the the brothers. 
Oh, the, the toddlers. The toddlers. Yeah, boy, there's a yeah. game for you. Uh -huh. So, but mm. I can't too. So, so mm -hmm. uh, keeping up to date. He makes some jokes about film and then film in the beginning, which I mm -hmm. thought was pretty funny considering that he started like with really low budget film uh, when he did uh, Stack Barrow and, mm. and Two Smoking. Lock, stock, and Two Smoking Barrel. Yes, yeah, I always forget. The, the anyways that so one. yeah w w was 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 quite entertaining quite fun mm -hmm. and we recommend go watch it yeah definitely. and it has action has comedy mm -hmm. and has accents yep yeah and just when it's getting too goofy it's like really sad but then just when it's getting too heavy it goes back to being just really entertaining and but yeah, just yeah. great movie. Go see it. Okay. okay. This week brought the end of a great television series. Yeah, we just we just had the last couple of days we had the mm -hmm. series finale for CW's Arrow. Mm-hmm. And the good place as well, which wasn't CW. Who did the good NBC. place? NBC. NBC, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so two big popular shows ending. Yeah, one longer than the other. Yeah, Arrow was eight seasons. Yes. Yeah, what did you think of the ending? It was so it was good. They they they, they mm -hmm. worked the the fiction aspects of Crisis, you know, like mm -hmm. in time travel, so they were able to get characters from, uh -huh. from the beginning of the show, characters, main mm -hmm. characters from the show, like mother and brother, Tommy. And friend. You know? Yeah. Uh, it had everything. It had like sad because the main character died during yes. crisis. Yes. Uh, it had love. It had a proposal. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Aww. And uh, it had cliffhangers. The mm -hmm. main, the main one being, uh, the fact that. Uh, the girl daughters Oliver's. Daughter, it's mm -hmm. gonna be the new green. It's not really a good thing. So, they, yeah, they kind of pre established obvious. that mm -hmm. on the previous episode. It's like a pilot for this new green arrow in the Black and Ice show that takes place yeah. 20 years in the future. Which I'm kind of looking for, looking forward to. Is what I meant to yeah. say. They kind of created yeah. a plot hole for, for themselves. The character of Black Canary that states that she woke up in the future after crisis. Mm -hmm. She's suddenly in the past. It's probably one from a different Earth, or I don't know. Maybe they'll explain that better. Uh, yeah, I it's guess. when you have like the the time travel and the multiverse and fixing stuff in the past or changing the past. It, it gets so messy and complicated. Yeah, the I fact that honestly everybody don't really like it. The fact that everybody remembers is, I think, is the worst. It's like what, what happened in Crisis in the comic yeah. books was like very few people remember mm -hmm. and they don't remember exactly how it happened right because it's like you're dealing with uh with the lack of better word to to describe we, we, they deal with gods and godlike mm -hmm. situations that humans could not process or remember so they choose to, yeah. to forget and which is which is fine mm -hmm. it works but some characters will obviously remember like in the books uh, Wally West, uh, Flesh 2, remembers uh, the mm -hmm. passing of Flesh, Barry Allen, because that's what makes him become becoming the, the Flesh. But back to Arrow, so yeah, we, we see Supergirl, we see the yeah. Flesh, we see all the Arrow characters, main characters there mm -hmm. to say goodbye to so Oliver Queen. So many ex-girlfriends. Yes, as a CW that show. That boy dated so so many girls. Mm -hmm. As a CW show, a lot of pretty women and they're mm -hmm. out there mourning, mourning uh, the arrow. Which is, there's one scene that's particularly funny is uh, Talia Ogu and Nessa Ogu. Yeah. Uh, and Nessa married, was forced to marry mm -hmm. uh, uh, Oliver. Oliver. And Talia had this sort of romance that's with right. him as well. And then I said, oh, this is, this is the wife. And then Sarah shows up, and Sarah was a girlfriend. So this uh -huh. is the girlfriend. Sarah was a girlfriend while Laurel was a girlfriend. And she and and Sarah was Sisters. a girlfriend. And Sarah Sarah was a 
Ness's girlfriend. So it was like this. Oh, that's right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, it was very CW. Like, very melodramatic. Lots of drawn-out emotional scenes. And and they did something for me. It was a surprise. I completely forgot about the before crisis. Even, I think it was last season. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, future Felicity goes out into the yes. portal to who knows where. And we finally, well, now we know where. and she she does say it's like oh, I'm I'm waiting for this I'm waiting to see him again and we finally yeah. see you finally see uh, that she's going to see Oliver mm-hmm. on this afterlife mm-hmm. and so ends in a happy yeah. happy ending uh, lovers and getting together mm-hmm. after this life yes flashback into when they met yeah that and, was sweet. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think my favorite part, though, or the part of the finale that got me the most excited, though, was John Diggle's, you know, minding his own business. Oh, yeah. And this meteorite crashes into the ground from out of space, and he goes and he picks it up, as you can do with things that fall burning to the ground from space. You can just pick it up with your bare hands. And he opens this little ring-sized box, dare we say, and a green glow, almost like there's a green lantern, perhaps, yeah. on his face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe a green mm-hmm. lantern's light mm-hmm. right? might. Anyways, yeah. This for a second, I thought he would do the old doing the funeral. I was like, no, that's before. Yeah. But yeah, CW, CW, DC. I mean, DC now. Really, CW announced the Green Lantern show for the new HBO Max. So mm-hmm. yeah, he might he might be involved. Be Second Green Lantern in the comic books is called John as well. It's John Stewart. Yeah. He's black. He was big on the Justice League animation. Mm-hmm. Former military. So they have a lot in common. So, yeah. They do. I think, I think David Ramsey's arms are bigger, though. Yeah. But. Uh, well, there's no... It's, it's a drawing. So it depends on the artist. I'm just saying. Some could be way bigger than... Uh, anyways. Okay. Speaking of death, The Good Place also ended. Yeah. The Good Place it mm-hmm. starts with death. Uh, mm-hmm. Since it's in the afterlife, the show takes place in the yep. afterlife, and they go, yeah, back and forth. They like, go, oh, this is a good place. Now it's the bad place. Now it's good. Let's go to the good place. They finally get to the good place. The actual good place. After, uh, it's not clear how long there. There was like billions and billions of years. Yeah, they've had quite a journey. Yeah, but the show was not that long. Was it five seasons? I think so. It was a decent. I wouldn't say it was short. Oh, this uh, five well, season is a good. Yeah. Uh, it's a decent. It, it gets syndicated, you know, syndication, mm-hmm. and. Uh, and it ended while it was still good. Yeah. Which I th- I think is a difficult thing, for, especially I don't know something about American TV shows tend to go on a little bit too long, and and I'd rather I mean, see a short compare, show that is good the whole run. If you compare to shows like uh uh I don't know Days of Our Lives or or. Mm-hmm. Uh, Young and the Restless. Today they just announced one. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. If, uh, Young and the Restless. Let's, let's say it was Young and the Restless. They just announced that they, it was renewed for four more seasons, at least. Oh. Uh, probably never end. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, but those are soap operas. That's. Yeah, but a lot of these shows have elements of soap opera. You know? I guess. Anyways, I was very satisfied with this. Yeah, considering With what they ending. what they started and what they've mm-hmm. been doing the last couple of seasons, I think it ended really well. It uh, did. I have my philosophical, ethical, ethical issues with, mm-hmm. you know, how things end. You know, they they choose yeah. to end things, and then at the same time they declare that things don't end. So yeah, I thought it was it was successful with something that on paper sounded kind of dumb, but they tackled huge philosophical questions like what happens after life and and or after death and and what is morality and who gets to decide who's good and who's bad and they did it in a really beautiful and thought-provoking positive wholesome way yeah so, well done yeah everybody it was interesting mm-hmm. it was not it was not hilarious in some moments it was was funny and but mm-hmm. it's smart kind of funny and had mm-hmm. reference to a lot of stuff that if you're not aware you know you would yeah <laughs> I learned stuff. I looked up more than one. Well, yeah, it ended well. Mm-hmm. Uh, they 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 fulfilled what they said for mm-hmm. five years ago. It did. It was fun and it was mm-hmm. entertaining. And it was beautiful character arcs brought to a 
satisfying, heartwarming conclusion. And is dead now. It is. Much like this episode. It's he, over. Yes. So, we see you next week when we're going to talk about Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. Or no, Birds, of, birds prey. of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation it's, of One Harley Quinn. Not, it's Harley Quinn. Yeah, it's Harley Quinn. Birds of Prey. Anyways, and, get your tickets. And whatever else is new mm -hmm. on pop culture universe. So, mm -hmm. may the force be with you. Live long and prosper.